Hey there ladies and gents, it's Dicebag with an Axie update again, and today we have some actual news to cover. And on the Twitter feed, for Axie Infinity themselves, they say, Dear citizens of Lunasia, to engage, ensure an engaging gaming experience, the rewards for battling will be adjusted to 10 experience per win and 5 per loss, starting on Wednesday, January 30th, blah blah blah. Now this is... Being filmed on Monday, it's probably going to be a couple days until it gets out, maybe. It might just be right on the day it happens. So, uh, well, here's my thoughts. That's a big drop in experience. So basically, rewards for battles on, on uh, ranked battles specifically are going to be dropped to one-third of what they currently are. Now, that's... I'm sure that's for uh, population control reasons because they don't want too many axes getting in the circulation and basically just entirely crashing the market so they're not really worth anything because it is a game of collectibles and you have to kind of deal with secondary markets and all that. But that's a big reduction right there. And I think from the perspective of kind of a newer player, I've been in this for like three months, I think, something like that. Um, that's going to turn a lot of newer players away, because if you, if you really figure this up, a new player, they're going to go in, they're going to buy their first team of axes, three axes, and if they're lucky, if they're really lucky, or willing to spend you know, a good amount to get some fresh axes that haven't been bred yet, um, they're going to need to rack up at least like 300 experience to get their first chance of breeding, which I think is one of the main draws of the game is the breeding system. So I think people will want to engage in that to some extent, especially if, if they're just starting out. So if you're lucky, your first breeding attempt is going to cost you 300 experience on top of the 400 they start out with. In this, with this rate of experience gain, you're going to take at least five days if you win every battle that you can fight with your axes, which ain't going to happen. It's probably going to take more than a week. And in, during that time, what's a, what's a new player going to do? They're, they're just going to sit there and look at their, their guys and maybe queue up a battle every 12 hours. Well, queue up three battles every 12 hours. And that's not very engaging. You're going to probably turn a lot of people away with that. Now, if they're coming out with their land gameplay and the PvE systems and stuff like that just soon after this, then that's probably going to mitigate a lot of that. People will actually have things to do. Now... They also kind of need to have land, which is another expenditure that people are going to have to make. And I'm not sure if new players will be into that. So that's another thing to consider. But that will probably also uh, have new ways to gain experience to kind of make up for this thing. So I can kind of see where that they're coming from from that. Hopefully that's the route they're going to go. But we also have other experience sinks in development I think there's leveling and evolving body parts and I believe those are going to cost experience so that's even more that's going to be kind of sucked out of the pool of available experience for breeding in the long term so hopefully this is just kind of a temporary I don't know, cut back to stop the big boom in axes because it's really not going to affect bigger players too or mu too much I mean, I've been in it for, like I said, three months. I've got over 100 axes right now. I've got plenty that have experience saved up. I can still keep breeding and stuff for a good while. So it's not going to affect my enjoyment a whole lot, but I'm worried about the growth of the game with because people aren't going to want to spend, like, I don't know, 50 bucks on their first axes just to try out the game. So we'll see where this goes from here. Besides that, I got some of my new guys 
up in their teams, and we're going to take a look at them. Now, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, zoom, zoom, zoom. That's the team. These are the troublemakers right here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some unranked practice matches, which you can do. We've got 240. I think that refreshes every day. So you can get a lot of practice in. We're going to do a few practice matches and see kind of what the problems are. And I'll talk about kind of the metagame we're dealing with and all that. Now these guys are just kind of a haphazard team I threw together from my new guys who just kind of hatched out and they just grew to adults yesterday, I think. So we're kind of, we have to work with what we've got here. Now we got this guy in front, he's kind of our, our tank. He's not a super good one. As you can see, he's only got 45 hit points. But he's got, you know, a good number of defensive moves. Terror Chomp is probably is his main offensive one. And that's kind of a... That's not so good because he has a kind of a middle speed, so we're not exactly sure when he's going to be going in the turn. He's not guaranteed to go last or anything like that, so we don't know where to put this one to have a consistent grouping. But anyways, let's see. The other guys... We want to start out with our um, our um, plant attacks right here and our beast ones on this guy because frankly those are the ones that are going to be most effective against the tank types as far as the um, oh, what am I thinking of the kind of metagame clock the rock paper scissors kind of thing they've got going on here most of the tankier types are either going to be plant or aquatic, and those are most damaged by the uh, plants for the aquatic types and the beast for the plant types. So those are the ones we want to hit with right out of the gate, even if they're kind of lower damage than our other moves, because those are going to kind of get downgraded by the type advantages. So let's see how these guys are working out. And we'll just watch how this goes. And we'll have the first Axie battle on my channel that actually gets uh, broadcast here. And are we having issues right out of the gate? Sure looks like it. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. So that's... This is moving a lot slower than I remember. Um, let's see. Drained by Prickly Trap. Okay. We're doing some good damage, but the self-healing is going to be a problem, I can see. See, that's not going to do much, even though it's a high attack. Oh, our tank is going down already, but at least he can soak up a few turns of damage with uh, his last stand mode. Or maybe no damage, because they're not making attacks. Let's see, Insectivore not going to do much against... Yeah. That's not an attack move. <laughs> And more self-healing. These guys have healing out the wazoo. Yeah, we're going down in this one. Insectivore against that. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys are pretty light on the anti-tank attacks. So that's going to be one of the major things. I might reconfigure this team so that it's just like a straight line. So to kind of even out the damage so there's no specific tank because it looks like one of the biggest problems is that the tank can't take enough hits and therefore I go down and lose an Axie and I'm down for the entire thing 
way too early. So let's go in, kind of make that change. And we'll have to adjust some of our rotations too. So we'll reposition it. I wish they'd uh, kind of turn down those sound effects. That's really loud. Yeah, so we'll go with this. That way there's not really a specific tank and the damage will be spread out a little bit more. And then we'll kind of have to... Let's see. Who's got the lowest speed? This guy? Well, these two are in on the ends are tied. So... This guy will probably start out pretty well. He doesn't really have any defensive moves anyways. Maybe I should just go with a two tank setup. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put these two out in front. Ooh, but that guy only has 36 hit points. He's going to die. Yeah, let's, let's go with the line again. Okay, so this guy, he's pretty much got a defense and that's it. We'll put this because it's pretty much useless when it's not in defense right now. And we'll just kind of hope he gets the terror chomp as his, his attack move for each round. That's probably not going to happen, but hopefully more often than not. And then with this guy, our beast guy, let's see, we can start with Prickly Trap. Now let's see, he's got pretty middle speed, so let's start with the goo. And hopefully he'll take a hit. You know what? With three things to choose from, he's not likely to get that. Now he's got the self rally too. Man, these guys all suck. <laughs> oh well. We'll see if this... We'll save this and see how it works out. Alright, so... Let's queue up another unranked match. And... Let's start this fight right away. Uh, here we go. Uh, not the best start. That wasn't a much damage. Bubble. And he took a big hit. We're pounding away at the tank though. Oh good, a miss. And another miss. Ooh, ouch. Unfortunately, something's glitched out about the numbers with this. I think the browser. Oh, come on. <laughs> that. Oh, geez. Of course not. Hitting with a defensive move is never good. Ooh, ouch. There goes mine first. He lasted longer than the last time, I think, though. Oh man, this ain't turning out so good now. I was hoping the tank would be dead by now. No, not him again. Well, at least he didn't heal much. Now oh, there we go, and of course he's gonna stick around and soak up some more damage. Waste my time. Uh, well, at least he defended with self-rally. We won't have to worry about him using that. And lots of misses going around. I guess that's a function of the higher speed of these guys. I tend to have a lot of plant axes because that's what I started with in my collection. So this team of just beast and aquatic is getting a lot more misses than what I'm used to because of their high speed. So we 
got this guy almost down. Ooh. We're probably not going to survive, but it's going to be a much closer game than the last one. Jeez. Can hardly deal any damage. Oh, there we go. He's down. Luckily, they have a lot of defensive moves. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. It's down to the wire. No. <laughs> Oh, killed by last stand. That was insulting. Yeah, look at you guys. You deserve to lose. You guys suck. Okay, well, we did a lot better that time. Let's try one more with this setup and see if we can pull out a win or not. And I think we'll call it quits for this video. Alright, so who have we got? We got a Japanese player, and it's a aquatic tank and a couple beasts. We are gonna get murdered. Oh no. Low HP on those guys, so maybe we'll have a chance. Uh, nine damage. Not the best. Well, we're already behind one. What, two? Dang. That is... That was a weak hit. Ouch! Yeah, that was a type advantage on that last hit. That was pretty devastating. Oh, and now we're poisoned? Oh, if we're lucky, we'll be able to take out the tank before... Oh, that's not looking good. Well, at least he's not beating up on the middle guy anymore. I spoke too soon. There he goes. Oh. Uh, that's not gonna do much. And we do the self-rally. Useless move in this context. Sugar Rush. Ouch! That was a big hit. And Terror Trump probably not gonna do anything. No, we might not even break through the tank at this rate. Oh, one hit point. Come on. Oh, come on. At least take out the tank. Not looking so good. Come on. One more hit. Alright. <laughs> At least they got one. And he's gonna milk it for as long as he can. Oh, uh, come on. Just give up. You already lost. 20 damage. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, keep flailing around with your defensive parts. That's really gonna do a whole lot for you. Okay. Yep. As expected, these guys are not making the best team. I might kind of shuffle them around with the other guys that I had from the other teams, from the new batch, but we'll do that off camera sometime, and because this is getting to be a long video. So, thanks for watching. Hope you give Axie Infinity to tr a try, and don't forget to subscribe and leave me some feedback, and I'll see you guys later.